have a lovely cup of tea here. Nice cup of tea. Cheers. Oh, I better do it this way, actually, look. Cheers. Who made that, then? Who made that? You made that, darling. Who made the one before? You made that, darling. Who made the one before the one before that? <laughs> Good morning, it's Friday and I am on my way to Argus to pick up a couple of presents. What I am planning on doing is decorating the front room with Christmas decorations. As I said before in one of my other videos, we're not having a Christmas tree this year because Richard doesn't like having the Christmas tree. I wanted one last year, so I had one. And the pines got everywhere and, you know, it wasn't great. And to be honest, I'm not very good at decorating Christmas trees. And I find it quite a chore. I get really excited about putting them up, but when I'm actually doing it, I'm thinking, oh God, I wish I never started it. And I'm just not very good at doing that kind of thing. So instead of getting stressed this year, we kind of compromised with me doing a little bit of bullying. Um, so he said, right, okay. So we went upstairs in the loft and got the box down and we agreed that we were just gonna do the fireplace just to make it nice and cozy and a little bit different. Yep, just got out of Roy's. And I did the same thing as I did in Sainsbury's the other day. And I was wandering down, up and down the aisle. So it's almost like I have a feeling here that I want something to jump out at me, to say, eat me. You know, like when you go to the cupboards and you, you don't know quite know why you're there. You're not really hungry. You're not thirsty. It's just a habit that you've got. That's me today. I was wandering aimlessly up and down the aisles. I, I stayed well away from the sweets and all of my, um, the crisps and the sweets and the alcohol and the frozen parts. I made sure I stayed away from them. Um, but even walking down uh, the, the cleaning aisle, I wanted something to jump out. I, mean, I wanted to buy it, you know? It's just that, that habit of wanting to have something to make me feel better about myself and my situation. But then I realized what I was doing and I just thought, no, I don't need it. <laughs> just get out of here, get out of here. And uh, it's, it's gonna be an occasion where I'm gonna be in a mood. I'm gonna be feeling really sad and I'm gonna go in there and then I'm gonna want to eat and grab something. That is when I can't, that is when I've got to be very, very careful about what I'm doing. So, and in here, the staff are all lovely. They're all really nice. They'll say hello to you. So I'm going to go home and carry on with the decorations and then have a coffee. Yay!
<laughs> it's nearly 12 o'clock and we've just got out of bed again. What is going on, babe? We're never in bed this long. Never, 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 never. What? But what? <laughs> I can't even speak. But I had a bit of a panic this morning because I thought that it was we'd missed our anniversary, our four year anniversary. Four? It was four years anniversary, babe. We've been together three years. Four years. We've been together three years. We've been together four years. Babe. Four years. 2017. Yeah. 18, 19, 20. It's three. What? Three? Three years? Feels like four. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you said four. I knew it was three. We've been together for three years. I better edit that bugger out. I've just been round to see the grandkiddies, and we're now popping to Asta to get a few bits and pieces for our dinner today and tomorrow. We have decided on liver and bacon for me because I'm a little bit anemic at the moment and tired so I think that's possibly why I need to have a bit of iron in me and lots of fresh vegetables and mashed potato with gravy and Richard has decided on steak <laughs> yes nice bit of steak a nice bit of rump oh rumpy 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 <laughs> really really tired today I don't I just don't know what's got in me and I think Richard said about um, getting a bit more iron in me um, and I think that's probably what it was because I was taking iron tablets beforehand um, and then I switched to um, another form of tablets which had iron and something else in it I can't remember and I it, my my nails just went sh completely shot to pieces again my nails were coming out really lovely at the beginning of COVID because I was just taking a iron tablet. So I decided that I'm going to have liver today. I know most people don't like liver, a lot of people don't like liver, but um, I, don't, I don't really fancy it to be honest. But I'm just going to do it with a little bit of bacon, a little bit of mushrooms, onions, and then lots of gravy with it, mashed potato and loads and loads of vegetables, carrots, especially a lot of sprouts, um, you know, fart Richard out of bed tonight. I'm just really tired, absolutely exhausted, I fell asleep on the way home. I just don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, <clears throat> it might just be, it could be sad seasonal disorder um, because it's so dark outside so, Rich is now watching footy and Norwich City are winning Go Norwich! It's Sunday and I've not had great night's sleep at all. I think I had four and a half hours sleep for some reason, but this morning, um, it's now, what time is it, babe? 10 to eight in the morning. We've had a cup of tea and I opened the curtains and the sky was so beautiful and red. So we just thought we'd just come out for a, a walk. There's no one about, it's lovely and cold. And uh, we'll just look at this sky. I don't know if you'll get the best of it, but look at that. It's beautiful. There's my man. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, so it looks amazing. Just a bit of fresh air.
so in case you haven't seen it um, the video that I put on Fat to Hell Facebook page I'm going to be doing a 12 day Christmas vlogmas challenge and just for those people that don't know 12 days is 12 days between the 20th to the 31st of December vlogmas is that I'm going to be filming every single day and uploading don't worry it's not going to be that long they're only going to be like five ten minutes depending on what we've done we're going to go to some really nice places we've got the broads we're going to be walking on the broads we're going to be cycling to different places maybe putting the bikes on the car and taking them somewhere to the coast we're doing a coastal walk we're doing a park walk so do something different every day so it's not just going around our way and then the challenge is to do 60,000 steps in those 12 days, so that's 10,000 a day. It might just be that on Christmas Day it's going to be a little bit difficult, so what we thought we'd get up early, we'll do 5,000 steps in the morning, just walking around our local. Then we'll do dinner and then we'll go for a walk a bit later when the kids have all gone home or if they want to come with us, it's up to, up to them. And we're going to do the same Christmas Eve and Boxing Day. So that's really nice, we've kind of got it all worked out. And then in between those days, we're gonna get on our bikes, weather permitting, and just cycle wherever we fancy, really. Um, we're gonna try and do 30 miles in, six, in 12 days, but it could be a little bit longer. I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot longer. And the, it's just a challenge to, so that we're not sitting on our backsides, um, eating chocolate and all the things that Christmas throws at you. Um, we both want to lose a bit of weight during this time and um, it's, it really challenges us both because uh, we, we don't like just sitting indoors. We love getting outdoors now and it's brilliant. And like I said in the other video, if we can inspire one person to do the same, to get up and walk during the holidays, it would be fantastic. So, yeah all exciting it's sunday it's sunday it's glorious sunday and it's weighing day Eek. right let's have a look let's turn you all right okay so what have we got hold on let's get on the scale let's what is it working there we go Right, it's 18, three and a half. Oh. 18, three and a half. So I've actually put on a pound this week. I was kind of expecting a little bit more, considering that I had pasta, um, lots of cheese, quite a lot of cheese this week. Um, and I had a pork with a honey glaze, and there's quite a lot of honey in there as well. And what else did I have? I made my own mayonnaise, although I only made about, you know, sort of about that much. Um, I had it on in my sandwiches. I had my, I dipped my homemade wedges in it, and it was so delicious that I, I, um, I couldn't resist it. So I had it on basically everything. So um, I was kind of put it, thinking I was going to put on more, but I haven't been eating in between meals, which is fantastic. See you in a bit. But anyway, so I'm in a bit of a rush because the kids are now coming over and I've got to get the chicken in the oven and get the potatoes all sorted and everything else. So it all comes out by about a past two. So we're just having chicken, roast potatoes, um, steamed vegetables, gravy. Everyone's having two sausages each which I think is way too much so I might just have stuffing the stuffing is made out of sausage meat so I'm just gonna have a little bit of stuffing without a sausage and um, and some gravy and Yorkshire pudding and um, that's gonna be me sorted for the whole day I had a bacon butty bacon roll earlier today which was lovely with a cup of tea and um, that's gonna be me and we've got dessert for them we got ice cream, so they've got well, an ice cream lolly, which is nice. And we made sure that we only bought three for them, and so we're not going to have one each. And that's it. Yeah. Hey, cool. Happy Sunday.
love you. I love you, baby.